Okay, I'm gonna title this video, Sonia Massey. Everybody's talking about Sonia Massey and what happened to her, what horrible thing that happened to her. But I'm gonna come from an entirely different angle. Now, I wanna first put a disclaimer out there and let you know that what happened to her was horrible. And in no way am I blaming her for anything. I want to put that out there first because sometimes you can say things that's against the norm and there's people that may not have that understanding and that will take it completely out of context. So I just want to make it perfectly clear that what happened to her was horrific. And that cop, both those cops, need death penalty. But I want to title this video, Demonic Assignment and Witchcraft. Demonic Assignment and Witchcraft. Now, again, in no way am I saying that she was practicing witchcraft. But when I started watching that video, and I watched it in its entirety, even when the cop made the comment that B is crazy, the first impression I got when I first started watching that video and she came out and she kept repeating over and over again Jesus, please help me, help me. And they were asking her, you know, what kind of help do you need? And she kept talking to herself. I got witchcraft vibes from her. When I first started watching that video, I picked up witchcraft vibes. Now, on social media, and not just social media, but in this day and time, there are so many black women and black males that have given themselves over to witchcraft and voodoo. They have given themselves over to the dark arts. And what they fail to realize is that when you practice that, you invite these spirits into your life. And it don't just affect you, but it, it would affect anyone that's around you, including your children, your loved ones. I've met women in my life that had been married multiple times. And every husband they had, something happened where they lost their life. I met a woman that was married four times and all four of her husbands passed away. If it wasn't from cancer, some type of illness, a car accident, or it can just be street murder. But something happened that took every man that was in her life away from her. So you have to take time to step back and when you start noticing things in your life and around you that's affecting your children, you notice your children, even from the youngest age, is acting out that don't appear to be normal. Sometimes it's best to take a step back and look at your life and the things that you're doing in your life. Again, I'm not saying that's the case of this woman here because you have people out there that's practicing witchcraft and voodoo and they're trying to ride the fence. They have one foot in religion and the other foot out of religion. One moment they're talking about ancestral worship 
and offering libations up to them. And then the next minute they're talking about, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, God. To God be all the glory and praise. And in the Bible, it says that he will have you to be hot or cold. Because if you're lukewarm, he will spew you or spit you out of his mouth. So my first impression was witchcraft vibes just by her energy. And we also have to be careful too, because in this time that we're living in, no one is really held accountable for their own personal choices and decisions. Everything appears to have to be a mental health issue. I'm not going to say that she does not have mental health issues. But people confuse mental health issues with witchcraft. And the result of witchcraft. And it may not affect you now negatively, but in time to come, it will. Your time is coming. There is a demonic assignment that's targeting you because of the choices that you made to side with the devil. So you have demons that's on an assignment and it appears that this cop or these cops especially that one that spirit that controls him was on an assignment from the moment she first opened her door before she opened her door they were walking around her house and they targeted that vehicle that was in her driveway and at one moment it appears that they were going to walk away but they just could not get their minds off of that vehicle and then they entered her house you have to be careful what and who you invite into your house demonic assignment because you never know when there's an assignment out to end your life, to collect your soul. The Bible says, what does it profit a man to gain the world and lose his soul? And what would a man or woman give in exchange for their soul? So this cop or the spirit that was controlling this cop was on some type of demonic assignment. Maybe because of choices that she made in life. Again, I'm not blaming the victim. I am not blaming the victim. But I got witchcraft vibes from her because there's a lot of people that's in religion and that go to church that shout every Sunday that hook of Mashanda, Skidiosis, speak in tongues, but yet they practice witchcraft or ancestral religion. So you have to really be careful what and who you invite, invite into your house. So those cops, they had a bad, they had bad energy from the very start. When they first, that one cop, when he first started talking, I was like, wow, he's a bit aggressive, a hostile. Even when they was asking for her ID and when the, and when the cop entered her home, he had his flashlight shining the light all through the room. And I understand they have to, they want to know who's in that house because they don't want any type of surprises. But to fast forward, because everyone talked about this, fast forward, they told her, the one cop told her, you must have something cooking on the stove. When she got up to get that off the stove, he said something to her, and you can't really make out what he said. But whatever he said to her, 
she picked up in his spirit that something wasn't right. Now, I want to make a note, even people that practice witchcraft and voodoo have some level of discernment. Yes, the devil will give you discernment as well. Dark discernment. So she picked up something in his spirit that would trigger her to say, the Lord rebuke you. And he said, what you say? And she said, the Lord rebuke you in the name of Jesus. And he says, you better not. So who was speaking? At that moment, the spirit or the demons that was controlling that cop said, you better not. I'll shoot you in your effing face. And he did not give her a chance. She put the water on the floor. She had her hands up and she got on her knees and says, I'm sorry. And he shot her. And even when his partner wanted to go out and get his medical supplies, he told him, oh no. And he said it as if he was proud of what he did. Oh no, that's a headshot. That's all right. Nah, that's a headshot. And he started to say, he caught himself. And he started to say, let her die. But he called him, he caught himself and he cut himself short. And then his partner at, wanted to go get it. And he said, no, she's gone. No, nope. because the partner sensed that she was still breathing. They were supposed to, even if the person is dying or they think the person is dead, you still have to try to save that person's life. And cops are not trained for headshots. They are trained for the torso, the midsection. They're not trained for the head, but he shot her in the head like he told her he was gonna do. He was on a demonic assignment. And again, I'm not saying that she's a witch or she was into witchcraft, but I got witchcraft vibes. And sometimes the message is not popular, but receive it. If you can't receive it, then move on. But for those of you out there that's dabbling and tampering into witchcraft and voodoo and the dark arts and talking about ancestral religions, you need to leave that alone because you reap what you sow. Again, you reap what you sow. So if you notice around you, your children, your, your loved ones, your family members, and especially those families that had to deal with multiple deaths. This is a family I know, really nice family. And it appears that every, just about every child has passed away. I know every single one of them, they're like family to me. I've known them for a very long time and every one of them passed away except for maybe about two or three of them left. And it had to be about seven or eight of them. But none of them died of, of, uh, of uh, violent causes. It was like sickness or something came upon them. They got sick and they passed away. The mother's still alive. My best friend is still alive. His brother's alive. But the rest of them passed away. One of them is in a nursing home. Right? So I've always wondered within myself what happened in their family where the mother had to end up burying every one of her children. The mother buried her children. What happened? What caused death to slow walk that family? And I've known them from the 70s but there's only maybe one or two of the offspring that's left. The rest of them passed away. 
and they appear to be a good family. But we don't know what's done in the dark. There's an old saying, what's done in the dark will come to the light. And in many cases, when it comes to the light, it's not what you think. It's not that you would be made known for what you're doing in the dark, but the results of what you do in the dark will be judgment upon you or upon your offspring or upon your loved one. So when you tamper and dabble into witchcraft, know that there is a demonic assignment set to destroy you, to collect your soul. You might have dreams or visions of hellhounds. That's them letting you know I'm on your trail. So it's unfortunate what happened to her. These cops deserve the death penalty. Nothing less than the death penalty because what they did was evil. Evil to the core, they murdered this woman and she was the one that called them for help. And she kept saying over and over again, please help me, Lord. Lord, please help me. Please help me. And the one cop had asked her, like, do you have any type of mental health issues? She said, no. What type of help did she feel that she needed? What did she think she heard? She thought she heard someone outside. That car window was smashed. So maybe that's why the cops were looking into it. But she didn't have to lose her life. And then the cop lied and said that she said, I rebuke you in the name of Jesus and came at him with the pot of hot water. That never happened. He lied. But it's unfortunate and this is not the last time things like this is going to happen. It's been happening. Cop killings. And the same thing going to happen. Say her name, protest, and then things go back to normal. Nothing is done. So it's unfortunate, but I wanted to give a different perspective or different angle to what possibly happened to Sonia Massey. Maybe there was a demonic assignment because of the practice of witchcraft and the dark arts. You can't be on both sides. Either you're going to serve God or you're going to serve the devil. One moment you can't talk about the Lord Jesus and hallelujah, and then the next minute you're talking about, you know, the, the sky daddy and, and, and your ancestors and offering up libations and, and pouring liquor to the dead. You have to choose. Choose ye this day whom you're going to serve. You're going to serve God or you're going to serve Satan. But you can't serve both. So feedback, tell me what you think, subscribe, until next time, I'm fearless.